So now we come to the record side of this machine. Now this goes for any reel-to-reel, -reel. as you saw I aligned the playback uh, last time. Playback level, playback EQ, it's a similar thing for lots of different recorders. So whatever you see here will carry across to other things. So um, I'm just going to uh, just clean the heads again. Just make sure that before I start, they are completely clean, free of any oxide, any bits of tape. So I'm just going to uh, do the guides there. Uh, just the erase head, the other guide, the play and record head. There we go. Yeah, there's not much on that, it's okay. And just do the capstan. Yeah, a little bit on that, but that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna thread the tape up. Now, this piece of tape here, I've made up a reel um, of a short reel of tape, which is the same formulation that I'll end up using with this machine. Uh, that's very important. You line up the machine according to the, the bit of uh, tape that you want to use. That is, you, you adjust the record side for the tape that you're using. So I'm just gonna put that reel on there. Uh, it's a bit fiddly there, but I shall um, just get the, uh, the reel to tape to stick to that reel. It's a good idea to try and get the tape to sit against directly against the hub rather than just pulling it through and winding it because then you get even tape uh, take up on the on the spool there. So there we go that's all there. So on the computer I have a test tone uh, and I'm going to set it to one kilohertz first. Um, now the I've already lined this machine up. I've lined up all the tracks except track four, which is the one I'm gonna show you. But obviously you have to repeat anything that you do for the other tracks. So let's just get one kilohertz, there we go. So uh, I'm gonna start recording. Um, now on the, the machine here, you can see that, there we go, track four. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna unready track three and there we go. It's going to take off tracks three, and track seven, and track eight. So I've just got one track showing now. I've got track four, which is going in at five and a half dB. Now, here is my screwdriver that I've demagnetized. I'm going to press record. Now, the trouble is you can't you can't check the play the record level until you play it back. Now, that is the disadvantage of a, a machine like this, where you've only got one head that deals with record and play. So these are a bit more expensive to line up if you were to take it somewhere, because actually it takes two or three times as long. So here we go. I'm going to record. There we go, I'm just gonna put some one kilohertz on this machine. You may see other tracks going up and down here, uh, but I'm just concentrating on track four, this one here. Okay, so there's 10 seconds. Let's go back to the beginning. And I'm gonna play back. Now, that's quite high, that's a little bit too high, so. Uh, track four, which is what we're on at the moment, the one, two, third one down here is the level, the record level. So I'm just gonna take that down a bit and record a bit more. So at the moment we're going in at five and a half, minus five and a half dB, and we need to see that back when we play. So let's have a quick look at that. Minus four and a half, that's a little bit high, so I'm just gonna take it down a bit more. There we go. Once again, and again, and again. So just record a few seconds of that. There we go, back to the beginning. Track four is now at minus 6.1, and it went in at five point five. So it's actually a little bit too low. I'm just gonna bring it back up very slightly. As I said before in the playback section, don't lose sleep over the fact that this thing might be half a decibel out. Doesn't matter. 
as you can see there are other levels dancing up and down on the tape but we're just concentrating on track four here so back a bit press play that will do me so now that's one kilohertz now it's 10 kilohertz now there is an extra step that you have to perform here and it's called biasing now bias is something that you have to apply in the recording process it's a very high frequency signal onto which your audio is modulated uh, and it was actually discovered by accident by a german scientist working with a tape recorder back in the second world war anyway so i need to adjust the bias so that i get 3 db down from a maximum so what you have to do is you have to keep applying bias uh, until you reach a peak and then you keep applying it until you're about 3 db down now you'll have to have a look at that on wikipedia or biasing a tape machine and you'll see the step-by-step -step process so i'm going to now record uh, 10 kilohertz there we go so track four we're looking at forget track three seven and eight doesn't matter so we're going in at minus 6 db roughly so uh, this is track four so let's go back see what we've got Ooh, we've actually got quite a low level there so that means we've either there's not enough bias or there's too much so i'm going to tweak the bias level which is this fifth one down here and the adjustment range is very very fine on these machines uh, rather rather it's it, it, a tiny move of the screwdriver changes it a lot so I'll put a bit more on there so we've got minus 6 db go back to the start and see what we've got even less so it might be over biased so i'm just going to undo it a bit now this you repeat ad nauseam until you get it right so you really have to spend a bit of time with this machine once you've done it though you're there you can line it up you can and you can stick it back on your uh, mixing desk and get recording which is what we're going to do in a minute ah right okay just a slight more slightly more adjustment there so we're going in at minus six Beginning. that's not bad now I'm just going to check my because there is a record EQ control as well now you can kind of get away with looking at all the pots together and if they all roughly look in the same place I know it's not really um, a, a very reliable source of information but it will do you know if you're if you're halfway there with the how they look the chances are you're there with the um, the adjustment. So. Okay, a little bit less bias, perhaps. I think I've gone a little bit too far. So. Every time I'm pressing play and record here, I'm resetting the tape counter, which is in real time, in seconds, minutes and seconds. Hours, minutes and seconds, in fact. Right, I'm happy. So, now I've actually lined that up and I've got the treble response, the treble EQ, uh, the record EQ, rather, um, to, to sound pretty, pretty much there. There is your lineup process i've just done track four uh, but i had to do all the other other tracks so you just repeat 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 make sure and just use the same piece of tape over and over again now it's time to test this uh, with some drums i think and i'm going to record on the computer and i'm going to record on this and then we're going to see have a listen to the difference between the two and i think it uh, uh, you'll be surprised at how good this thing sounds and there we go <laughs> 